Oh, hello. My name is Mara, and welcome to Books Like Whoa. Okay, a little quick video, I think, uh, for you guys today about series that I need to, and I will have a whole video about book shouldism and need toism, um, I think next week. But anyway, I wanted to talk about series that I should finish, need to finish, um, slash catch up with, because um, I was kind of going through some of like my TBR and kind of seeing what some themes were and kind of what was on my radar. And I was like, yeah, you know, I have several series that like I'm really enjoying and really should just like make time to either catch up with or to just go ahead and finish. Um, and there's like a few facts factors that go into why I haven't caught up with or finished these, and I'll kind of address them on a series to series basis. But anyway, I thought this might be interesting. Um, and if you're somebody who's reading any of these series, just to let you know that I'm also reading them. So you, you know, just letting you know that I uh, am a person available to talk to you about these series with basically. Okay, series number one is the In Depth series. This is the only physical copy of this I have on hand. Um, this is book like 18 or something. So here's the deal. This is a series that I want to finish slash catch up with because it's an in progress series. I do really want to do that because I would like to get to the point um, where I am live with the series because two of these come out every year pretty much and I from I have not heard any indication that this this series is on book like 48 or something and I've heard no indication that this this series is has any signs of slowing down. Um, so I would like to get to the point where I'm caught up so that twice a year, I'm getting a new one and I'm getting to enjoy the new releases with everyone. Um, the problem the reason I haven't finished this is because there's 48 of them. I think I'm coming up on either number 19 or 20. So I'm like maybe half ish way caught up. Um, but I have kind of wondered if I should just take like a month or two maybe early next year and really focus on catching up with this series so that I could get to the point where I was live with it but anyway um I love these books the oh, if you don't know the in-depth series I mean I talk about a lot on here but it's a near future police procedural romance and they're really just solid commercial fiction um probably like my favorite of like airplane type or airport type books like things that are sold in the airport and are just like fun sort of like light reading I just think that this is best of breed in that kind of series so I really enjoy these um and I you know you always have the sort of like oh I don't want to finish them off because I enjoy them and I don't want to have I don't want to get to the point where I don't have any left that's always also in the back of my mind but um I just need to get over that because I would I think I would enjoy being live with the series and enjoy the the releases um every few months so another series that I should catch up with is the side changeling series so here's what happened this series uh essentially is being written with um into various arcs. So it is still the Side Changeling series, but the first 14 books were one arc. This book is a transition book, and then the next book, which I believe was Silver Silence, started a new arc. So I am caught up through the first arc of this series, and I think because I got an ending with that, it has been hard for me to like gear myself up to get into the next arc. I really want to do this because I keep ordering these in hardback and have every intention of continuing to order these in hardback and then I'm not reading them. And that is just like wasteful in my opinion to order hardbacks that if you order a hardback, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's a whole other discussion. But for me and like the way I think about book buying, if I do that, it's because I'm like, I wanna read this soon and it's I, a book I wanna read soon and a book I wanna keep. So um, if I'm gonna keep ordering these in hardbacks, I really would like to be caught up so like, that is something I want to do. And then another one I want to catch up with, and I just realized that all three of these ones I want to catch up with are uh, romance related. So there you go. And um, this is a paranormal romance series called The Immortals After Dark. The thing with this is this is one that I don't like as much as I like some other series that I have going in paranormal romance. Like it's not a favorite and I find the book somewhat uneven. And I think that is what has kept me from, um, from actually catching up. But this series went on ebook sale probably a year and a half or two years ago. And I got the entire series up to that point in ebook. So I have them all and I kind of would just like to make some progress and like catch up and then like 
once I've caught up, I can decide if I want to continue with the series, but I at least want to get through the ones that I already have. And then this is sort of an in-between series between something I need to catch up with versus something I need to finish, because I do think that this series is finished for now, but I think that Jonathan Howard has left the door open to write more in the Johannes Cabal series, but I absolutely love what I've read of this series. I love his writing style like his authorial voice is like one of my very favorites I, I enjoy these so like why am I putting off reading them so yeah this is one that I want to finish uh what has been published and then if anything else ever does happen to get published in this series then I'll be ready to enjoy it but um just so you know these are fantasy genre bender books um with a lot of steampunk type elements to them but each of them has like plays with different uh kind of plot tropes so like my favorite was Johannes Cabal the detective because it was a murder mystery plot on a dirigible um it was delightful and they're very very funny it, it, they're just great books so like I want to catch up with this and enjoy reading them okay so now we get to series that what are well and truly finished so like I can just straight up finish them Dark, the Shades of London series by V.E. Schwab. I've read the first one and then I have gotten the audio out from the library on this particular book probably a smooth three or four times and every time I read like five or six chapters and enjoy them and then like get distracted. So like I just kind of I'm like I need to just like sit down and finish this because it's only it's a trilogy. It's not even like it's that many books. Um, but I want to just go ahead and finish this one off. Another one where I don't have that many books left in the series. So like I don't know why I don't just like sit down and finish it is uh, the Brothers Sinister series from Courtney Milan. These are very feminist paradigmed Victorian historical romances. I think Courtney Milan might be the best author writing in romance today. Um, she's definitely one of the highest quality in terms of just like being a good writer. She is one of the very, very best. These are wonderful books. And I have this, this is the last book in the main series. So I have this and then two side novellas and then I would be done with this series. So like, I don't know why I don't just do that so that I can move on to her Worth Saga series because I also have those as eBooks. So like, anyway, I like, this is one that I, it wouldn't take that much effort for me to finish. So why don't I just do it? I don't know. Two other series actually that are historical romances that I want to catch up on slash finish are Spindle Co. from Tessa Dare. Now this is one that I do think she's periodically continuing to write in but not as frequently. Um, and I've read a lot of the Spindle Cove books but I have one or two left. I think I have a novella I need to read and like why don't I just do that? Sorry there's a bug and like it's the tiny bugs that are maddening and it keeps flying around me. Anyway, sorry. Um, so the Spindle Cove uh, series from Tessa Dare. And Tessa Dare is like my version of like a warm blanket of historical romance because like they're light, they're fun, they have like kind of a feminist sensibility to them. They're never super angsty. She's just great. Um, so if you're looking for something kind of like that, Tessa Dare. She's, she's good stuff. Um, and then the other one from her that I haven't finished, I've read a few of them, but like not even in order, I don't even know, is The Castles Ever After. And I really want to read, I think it's called Romancing the Duke because it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling with cosplay in the Regency. Why haven't I read this? I don't even know. And then finally, two series that I have a plan to get through. <laughs> like there is a plan in place for me to work my way through these. Um, the first one is the Lord Peter Whimsey Mysteries from Dorothy Sayers. This is one that I have thoroughly enjoyed the books that I have read from that series. Uh, I think that there's maybe roughly like 12-ish of them. Um, and I, I really enjoy it. Maybe 12 to 15. I can't quite remember. But um, I, w I would like to just go ahead and read them because I, I like them and why not? So I think in October, theoretically, I'm going to start doing something called Whimsy Wednesdays, where I'm going to slowly make my way through that uh, that series over the course of like a year or more, like read one of them a month kind of a thing. Um, so that I think is how I'm going to get through that one. But yeah, like I should just read them because I have loved everything in that series I've read. Well, actually, I'll, I didn't like Five Red Herrings. That one I did not enjoy as much. But Busman's Honeymoon and Gaudy, Gaudy Night is like one of my all time favorite books. So yeah. And then finally, uh, a series that I am going to be finishing next year is the Marple books. So I've read most of the Marple books. I probably have maybe four or five I've not read yet. But uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing Mission Marple um, starting in January. So I'll be reading one of those every other week. So like, I will be getting through that. But anyway, um, part of 
I know you guys really wanted me to do <laughs> Mission Marple after Project Poirot, so that's part of it. But also I was like, yeah, like, you know what? I like... I liked getting to the point in the Poirot books where I've now read them all, like I've finished that series, and I would like to do that for Marple, like, like be able to say that I have read all of them. So there you go. And I, I hope you can't hear, there's like, there's police lights over there and I keep hearing random screams. I hope everything's okay. It's supposed to be just a quiet Sunday morning, so I'm not really sure what's happening in my little neighborhood here. But um, anyway, hopefully you guys can't hear that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, those are some of the books, uh, the series rather, that I want to finish or catch up with and kind of some of the reasons why I haven't done that yet or why I want to finish them. Anyway, um, I thought that might be interesting for anybody else who uh, has has read some of those series or is thinking about reading those series. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social medias if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below and I will just talk to you guys soon. Bye.